Mrs. Jane Bode, who previously operated a tavern on the outskirts of the city, moved to this prominent location in 1771. <laughs> that he almost doubled the size of the building with the addition of the great room on the west end of the original structure. Henry Weatherburn was a very enterprising and successful tavern keeper in Williamsburg for almost 30 years. In 1731, he married the widow of a tavern keeper and received his first ordinary license. In 1742, he rented the Raleigh Tavern, and in 1746, moved his business across the street to this location. The first Mrs. Weatherburn died on July 1st, 1751. Ten days later, Henry married again. <laughs> this time, his bride was not only the daughter of a former tavern keeper, but the widow of another. A colonial tavern was quite different from its modern namesake. In addition to serving liquor, it also offered lodging for travelers, meals, and a place for socializing and entertainment. The majority of the tasks needed to operate the tavern were performed by Weatherburn's 12 slaves who lived here on the property. The King's Arms Tavern. Oh, <laughs> 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 